For today's travel, we are going to Vincent's Camarines Norte. They used to call this place as Indan and was renamed after World War II to honor Wenceslao Vincent, the father of student activism in the Philippines and a former governor of Camarines Norte. Aside from its history, people are visiting this place because of St. Peter the Apostle Church, which was built in 1600s. Tara! Let me show you around. This church was built in 1611 by the Franciscan Friars, and can you imagine? In 2011, they have just celebrated their 400th foundation anniversary! Wow, Asana all my forever! The facade looks exquisite due to its limestone walls, which gives you a glimpse of our history. Anganda! It feels like you're back in 1600s! But wait, hindi lang yan ang pinagmamalaki ng Vinsons. They also have Mount Panit, so tara na! Sa dami ng magagandang view, ito talaga yung biyaheng hindi hindi ka maiinip. Travel pa more! After 45 minutes of driving, at last, nandito na tayo! Mount Panit, 30 pesos environmental kit. When driving, konting ingat lang because the road is too small. Hindi kaya ang may kasabay dito, so bigaya na lang. Okay, sandito na kami. Ayan, ang ganda ng dagat, oh. So, dito yung daan. Ingat. I was thinking that we will only experience Mount Panid, but it looks like Vincent's has another surprise. So let's explore the area. If you don't want to track, then you can just stay here and experience the beauty of the beach. If you're worried about your skin getting darker, don't worry, because they do have cottages available for you. Perfect for your lunchtime or chikahan moment ng mga ayaw umakyat. <laughs> It's time for the main course! Akit na tayo! Welcome to Mount Panit! Oh, eto na! Make sure na kapag warm up ka bago umakit! Otherwise, uuwi ka ng luwaan! <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what's the secret and how you will be able to maintain your energy in this situation? It's simple. Bring the person you want to be with. Either a friend, your partner, a family member, or even your neighbor. And trust me, you will never get tired talking about crazy things and even at the peak, things would still be the same. Just make sure you bring your water because maubusan ka ng laway kakasalita at pagod sa trekking. Not to mention na ilang beses kang mapapawaw sa lugar na to. One of the good things about this place is that you would only need to trek for 15 to 20 minutes to reach the peak. There are lots of visitors in the area and you may even try to get along with them, especially if you are a solo traveler. Just be mindful about the standard safety precautions of this place. Dito na tayo! Uh, standing here is like an endless source of happiness. It feels like this mountain is bridging the northern and southern part of Camarines Norte, and it looks like it's just within a few steps to reach both ends despite of knowing its actual distance. Why haven't I noticed this place before? <laughs> this view is totally unbelievable! 
try to imagine yourself standing here while watching the sunrise and its brightness reflecting to the beautiful blue ocean. Napakaganda, di ba? Now I know the reason why there are lots of couples in the area. Napakasarap pagkwentuhan sa lugar na ito kung paano kayo nagkakilala, kung sa anong paraan una kanyang pinakilig, or kung papaano siya nag-propose sa'yo at nangakong hinding-hindi ka iiwan. Pero hindi lahat ng kwento ng umaakit dito ay masaya. Dahil may iba, Nakalimutan na kita! Habang kayo ay masaya, siya naman ay nasasaktan at nag-iisa. Pero handa ng kalimutan ka. Again, this is your Tinderong Viajero na siguradong babalik sa lugar na ito. Next time, sama ka?